And I think when I think of dating, I think of a lot of wasted time and an effort to find the person that was worth all that time wasted. Hi, hello, it's Kenny with the ponytail, 9.99, Amazon, how you doing? If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up? Home skill and biscuit. So I don't think I've done like a proper get ready with me, like a, just like a sit down and talking about nothing type get ready with me in a while. Like I think I did some kind of crappy ones when I was in Korea, but I haven't done like a proper one in a minute. Funny story though, I actually filmed a video like this for a sponsor only to realize that sponsorship video isn't due until next month. So I'm gonna try to avoid <laughs> talking about the same topics that I talked about in that video. Movie magic, what can I say? Now because this is a get ready with me at any point if you're like, what is she using? product wise that will be down in the description box as usual. Spoiler alert, right now I'm using the Fenty foundation again because I want to try it a few more times before I give my final opinion on it. I did make a whole video and if you want to check that out, I will link that above somewhere. I think my tan is starting to go away already. That was quick. <laughs> my tan didn't stay for no time. It was like I, I was barely committing anyway. So I guess I'll start off by saying thank you guys for your reaction on the first uh, of the Bad Movies in a Beat series. I thought of it literally on a whim. I think it was partially because I've been super obsessed with Bailey Sarian the last few weeks. I talked about this in the other Get Ready With Me. Oh my God, I hope I don't get too much overlap. But it has a series where she just talks about murder mysteries. And I was like, we need to have more just like Get Ready With Me content, just in general on YouTube. That's just like, it doesn't necessarily have to do with makeup because in fairness, we all know how to do a smoky eye at this point. Like if you don't know how to do it now, you just didn't look. <laughs> you didn't look for a tutorial, there's plenty of them. There's so many products coming out. So it's like, you're bound to find something that you like. But as far as just giving that personal touch, I'm always full of useless information and useless thoughts on things. So girl, yes. If you didn't watch that video, basically I just did my whole critique of tall girl as a tall girl. Watch it, I think you might like it, it might be kind of fun. I've already started on next week's video. Um, I think I kind of want to do it every Saturday because I watch a lot of bad movies and I just need, I just need to talk about it somewhere. I don't want to spoil it because it's like, it's peak garbage. I was gonna do Twilight, I'll spoil that, it's not Twilight because I just bought a CD-ROM, like a USB CD-ROM for my Mac because they don't have those anymore for some reason. I don't know when that became a thing. CD-ROM drive so that I can look at my old DVD. Speaking of which, I don't know where my DVD is, but I do remember the original movie, I got the director's cut. And I remember thinking that the director's cut was more interesting than the actual movie. <laughs> so once that's all settled, I'm looking forward to revisiting Twilight because it, it's trash. It is a trash movie. Um, it's a trash movie that I lied to myself and said I liked even as a child. Oh, by the way, if you see the fly, he's still here. At this point, I kind of want to just name him. Like I don't even try to kill him anymore because at this point, he might as well pay rent. At this point, he's basically an emotional support animal. I was thinking of naming him Herbert. So if you ever see Herbert in a video, feel free to say hi to Herbert. Endless world of trying to defat myself. At this point though, my motivations aren't as shallow as they've been in the past. Like before it was just like, I want to be thin now it's i don't want to buy more bras <laughs> when i went to korea this year i brought all the bras that i usually wear like when i'm around at my house i don't wear a bra because like why then i'm like okay i'll take all my bras that i usually wear and i got to korea a country not of the best bra selection just saying and i was stuffed in them bad boys <laughs> am i really about to shell out more money for a titty holder. The thing is too, because I had nowhere else to go because I, I'm i that like bra size that I'm able to get away with buying clothes at like a supermarket, but I'm right at the cusp. Like if I get any bigger, it's over and I have to buy like actual bras, like at bra places. And I was like, ooh. ooh. So I'm like, oh no, I can't I can't be doing that. That's That sounds like work. And another thing is when I got back from Korea, I mistakenly had gotten better thighs because of all the walking. And I was like, well, I don't want to lose that. My legs don't even jiggle as much. So let's upkeep that. And more freedom and more consistency with exercising. Like I actually really like it, which is weird. I've never been here before. I've lied to myself and said I liked it before. I've, I've done a lot of lying to myself. But now I like actually genuinely like it. If I'm having like a bad day, I go to the gym. 
Can't believe it, I'm becoming one of them people. They don't show yet. <laughs> but I say all that to say, my my titties fit in my old bras again. So hallelujah, there you go, amen. I really did luck out with the titty thing though, because like my because like my sister and my mom have just huge boobs, like giant boobs, and I just got skipped. And when I was young and stupid, I thought, oh, that's bad. I wish I had bigger boobs. Then I grew up and realized what privilege really is. I don't have no titties. Like I have titties, but they're not like overwhelmingly large. So like I can buy clothes, especially tops for most places. You don't even have to be like plus size, but if you just have giant boobs, that really limits your, your ability. Not to mention the back pain. I don't know why that is, but my, my sister and my mother have never really complained of back pain related to their boobs, which is weird considering I feel like they have the type of boobs, like the size of boobs that you would think would be associated with back pain. But yeah, my bras fit again, which is like the little, cause I went, I wasn't on track for like three days because I was just hungry. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm hungry, so I wanna eat. So I'm gonna eat. And then I like tried on some of my old bras and I realized, oh, I can fit them now. That's the inspiration I needed to stop this little bender here and go back to the gym. I'm like, okay, I ain't buying no more titty holders. You got me messed up. It's funny, whenever you sit down for, to do a good ready meeting, you're like, I have all these things to talk about. And then I'm sitting here, I'm like, what? What's I gonna talk about? Oh, I guess we could talk about this because I remember, you know, on and off, I've been doing these like polls on community tabs. And one of the things that I gave as an option and people were like, oh man, I get why the other one won, but like I was gonna do a video about being perpetually single. It's a dirty word. <laughs> I feel like I could just like touch on it here. I'm actually happy that I didn't make that video at that time. I'm a pretty reflective, is that the word I wanna use? self-reflective person. I feel like I've had new insight, if you will, in regards to like my dating life or my lack thereof. So as one would imagine with a title like the perpetually single friend is that I'm perpetually single. And I'm the type of person that's like always kind of joked about boys, you know? Like, ooh, boys, yes, boys, boys, blah, 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 blah. But like, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. But like, I've always been a person that's like really interested in boys in like a, my mom said I'm interested in dating in theory. <laughs> Cause we were talking about this and she was like, Kendall, if you found a person, you'd be like, ah, I'm over this. I'm over it. I'm done. Even if he was like a great person, I'd just be like, oh, I'm over it. He want me to talk to him. He wants. <laughs> He want me to be near. He want me to give him affection and time of day. Ah. <laughs> and you know, sometimes it hurts to get read by your parents, but it also gives some insight. Uh, how do I put this? She is absolutely right. I have a weird thing about relationships in the sense that I think of them less as like an opportunity to, to like connect with another person and, to you know like love and be loved and so like <laughs> I think of it less like that and more of like a thing I gotta get around to that I just haven't gotten around to yet like a checklist it's like not that I really want to be in a relationship that bad it's just I feel like it's something that I should have done by now does that make sense but every time the opportunity presents itself I'm like nah <laughs> It just sounds like a lot of work. I think also what doesn't help is that for a long time, I had a very close knit group of friends that were in a very similar boat as me. It's like, none of us really were the dating type. We would kind of talk about it as like a theory, but wouldn't really pursue it. Like, you know, we wasn't on apps or if we were, it was more so just to combat boredom, more so than like trying to find someone to even talk to casually, you know? How do I put this? I got other things to do and <laughs> wow. For a long time, it wasn't like I felt any pressure overtly or, or subconsciously, but Within like the last like few months, everybody I know, all the people that, oh, that's another thing. Even the people that were dating were in long-term relationships, right? So they've always, they've just been dating them for a while. They weren't daters per se. They just picked a person and they've just been dating them. And so like, I never really felt any pressure. No pressure, pressure, pressure. You see them, I see you, just know your mind. Y'all don't know that song yet. <laughs> But then like, I wanna say in the last few months, 
kind of out of nowhere, all those friends that were just like me suddenly got interested in dating. Like they or they got interested in dating, so they're like in the pool, they're like talking to a bunch of people, or like they have a boyfriend now. And then I'm like, oh. Oh, is that my cue? It's not like I have friends that like pressure me though. That's the thing. I, I am very and I don't have family either that pressures me. So it's like there's nothing externally that's gonna make me feel that pressure but myself, right? So I'm sitting here like, oh, okay, well, I guess let me download an app, <laughs> you know? And then I get on the app and I'm like there and I'm like, oh, I hate this. <laughs> like, I hate every part of this. Like, I'm so bored and I'm so boring. Like, I don't, ooh. ooh. And then like the people in real life that approach me are like in their 60s because I guess I'm their last wish before they go comatose. And um, that was mean. I should have said. <laughs> or they're like short dudes that have hella strong short dude complexes that I just don't feel like coddling. And it just sounds like a lot of work is what I'm getting to. How do I put this? I don't feel the nat- I, <laughs> What I, I guess is like the natural urge to actually you know, love someone. Well, everybody else got around to it. What's with me? Like, why am I not? Why don't I? Why don't? Why don't I have that like desire? Why don't I? I'm a really big thinker around this concept of time. I feel like I'm always in a rush. And I think when I think of dating, I think of a lot of wasted time in an effort to find the person that was worth all that time wasted. And it's really hard for me to picture myself in love. So I can, it's very hard for me to think of myself ever feeling like, yeah, this was, this was, <laughs> this was worth it. <laughs> like dating is like getting to know a new person from scratch. And it's like, ew. I think that's why I've always been like particularly fond of the idea of falling in love with someone you've known for a very long time you know, like a friend of yours or something, because it takes away this whole like learning process of what type of person they are. Are they a liar? Are they a cheater or manipulative? You know, when people are a little, when they're not as on guard with you because they think of you just as a friend, they let their true character show. But the thing is I don't have guy friends. <laughs> so. I have a few guy friends, but I, nah. Nah. <laughs> that bronzer is pretty. Why don't I use this more? The coffee, the beauty bakery coffee, the, the, I gotta say, I haven't done a video on it, but the new beauty bakery foundation is fire. I've had, I've had my history beauty bakery and they stuff has not always been fire. New one is great. I just got the wrong color. So my sister has it now. So I gotta buy it again. Their website shade finder, garbage. Don't use it. Cause I use whatever they said and I got the foundation for a white woman. And I'm like, I use what you said. I use like my perfect shade in the Fenty foundation, like in the winter, cause the winter's coming up. It wasn't just little light. It wasn't my winter color. But what was I talking about? <laughs> relationships, but well, what about relationships? Yeah, it just feels like such a process. It just feels like such a thing. And I just, uh And you know, you know, I've been told by like friends and stuff, they were like, well, you could just date casually. That might be cool. And it's like, even the thought of that just sounds like a lot of work. Like, it just sounds like even more work. Cause it's like doing this with no expectations at the end. It's, I gotta deal with your BS for free. I started to feel pressure to date people because of people around me were dating people. And then I just realized, Kendall, your journey is yours. Their journey is there. Woo! She did not come to play with y'all. But yeah, it just sounds like a lot of work. Like I gotta learn a new person. I gotta learn their personality. I gotta learn their patterns and the way that they show love and the way they accept it and kind of listen. <laughs> Like low key, I don't even want a dog no more. <laughs> like I thought about it, I was like, oh, they so cute. I've wanted a dog all my life. And then I thought about what, what it would actually be like to have a dog. Like I gotta take it to the vet. I gotta get insurance. Like I, I can love it. I'll show it a lot of love, but I gotta buy it food and buy it shots and take it to the vet. And God forbid I wanna go on a month long just trip out of the country because I have a habit of doing that. Where's my, where my dog gonna go? Apparently you gotta buy that little bad boy like a, like a passport? I was shook. I was like, oh, 
Ugh. I'm not ready to be like a mom. I didn't, I didn't think about it. I really didn't. And I'm so happy I did think about it before I subject the poor dog to that. And that's how I feel about a boyfriend. Honestly, I don't feel like I would be good at being a girlfriend. At least right now. Like, I don't, like, I don't, I'm not... Again, I'm thinking of like a relationship as like a thing to do, a checklist, a thing to pick up on the way to the store. Gotta get milk, toilet paper, shampoo, grapes, my boyfriend, roast chicken so I don't have to cook tonight. When you're only thinking about yourself immediately when you're going into the idea of even wanting to date people, what's the point? Like you can be yourself by yourself. <laughs> With that said, if some like, Six foot three Christian, you look alike, wanted to come and slide in my TMs. I would not say no. Until then, not in any rush. Okay, that's all for today, everyone. If you like this video, be sure to like this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both of which are KennyJD. And I'll see you guys on Saturday. What do you guys think about making Saturday bad movies and a beat day? I feel like Saturday is the day we watch movies, right? So it's like, ooh. It's Saturday. Let's watch a crappy movie and let's talk about it. I like the idea, but well, whatever. But then again, I like all my ideas. They're not always great, though. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.